Hey and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm doing a Marks and Spencers weekly shop for a family of five. I do have other Marks and Spencers and different supermarket hauls in a playlist above if you want to check them out. So I spent £100 in Marks and Spencers and then I've got some items here from a, like a plant based shop, first time that I've ever been so I'm going to show them items at the end. So if you want to see all my plant based items then stick around to the end for that. And then also I've got a couple of items from the co-op shop so in total with the items from there which came to 19 pounds and the items from the co-op shop I spent about 140 pound so I'm gonna start over here first so these are our snacks for the weekend if you've seen my other hauls I talk about that we like to have kind of like a tapas um, lunch on a weekend where we'll have like we've got these chili tortillas nacho cheese ones and then these lightly salted tortilla chips for me um because i'm fully plant-based but the rest of the family are not so we'll have like salsa dip with them celery sticks carrots olives all different types of things so that's them so that's for over the weekend then we've got about 12 bananas here the, the kids will go through them in no time i've got these i really like spring onions when i make scrambled Yay. tofu for breakfast it's nice isn't it micah yes. yeah um, and um, cooking like rice and peas as well, it's really nice in that. I got two packs of round tomatoes which were only 65p, these were only a pound. Another pack of round tomatoes there. The shiitake mushrooms were, I think they were £1.50 or £2. I'm really sorry about the noise, I'm just going to give Micah something quickly to keep him quiet one second. There you go. Car. So where was I? Um, yeah, they have offers on sometimes in Mots and Spencers. I've talked about it before where the um, different, bye Micah, different fruits and veg are only 65p and they had on offer carrots, 1kg of carrots. We go through so many of them so this was a bargain. So that's less than a dollar for all of these carrots. Um, and then I got this Cavolo Nero, I think that's how you pronounce it. I like to chop this up and put that in curries or in my scrambled tofu. I got celery for celery sticks with hummus and to also put in my cooking. I, fi I find that putting this in and um, chopped up and carrots in a bolognese, it's a really good way to get the veg in. I got three peppers, one yellow and two red. And then I got these lime and lemons because we have hot water every morning, me and Ryan, with lemon or lime. And then I got these two packs of British Baby Beetroot. I'm struggling to find raw beetroot um, and I really love it with sweet corn so I got two packs of that. I got these, um, I think they were only 85p so less than a dollar the beetroot. And the reason why I'm saying dollars is a lot of my subscribers are from America. So these easy, easy peelers were £1.50. And the sweet corn, I think that was 80p so about a dollar. 65p for this cucumber the kids have been asking for eggs so i bought 12 eggs i got two ripe and ready avocados and then i got um these straight oven chips i've still got some potatoes from the garden um but we've got that sorry i just thought someone was at the door um and then these are from the co-op shop um I made some oil free potato waffles in the waffle maker and some people from America had said that they'd not seen um, or heard of potato waffles before so this is them, they're just mashed potatoes and they've got like sunflower oil in, you can put them in the toaster or you can put them um, in the grill or the oven and they're so nice like to have like in the morning for breakfast but I've not um, bought them for ages so I bought some of them I think there was only a pound and then I got these two packs of hash browns um, for the freezer and then I got I've never bought this type of pasta pasta before or uh, what is it how do you pronounce it orzo um, it says add to soups the stews or use as a base in salad so I thought I'd do that like maybe if I'm making a soup um, or chili or something put that in and then I got this plant-based vegan mayo. I've talked about this before. It's only £1.50, um, less than $2, and it's made with broad beans. Best mayo that I've had. I got these chickpeas for chickpea curry. I got two of these um, hummus, because um, the kids love snacking on hummus. And then I got butter beans. 
cannellini beans. Oh, he's killing! He's talking through the air, the air vent. I was doing what? <laughs> That's my eight-year-old. If you don't know, um, and then I got these chopped Italian tomatoes because it, the, I use. I use chopped tomatoes for a base for when I'm making homemade baked beans or curries and um, spaghetti bolognese. I got this vegan bechamel sauce. I've never I've never used this before and I do usually make my own bechamel um, sauce but I thought I'd give this a go. And then I got this which was a bit pricey. It was £7 but it's a really good vanilla extract. Um, it's not got any inverted sugar in it so it just, it, like if you see here it's got like ethanol, um, water, vanilla extract, vin vanilla, bean, vanilla bean extract, I can't get my words out. So it really imparts a good flavour and you don't need a lot of it. Then, I don't know if I talked about this before because I've tried to film this video a few times because the kids have been running in, but I've got this Mediterranean paste. I bought these before and they're only £1.50 or £2 and they're so versatile so I'm going to cook them up with the mushrooms. I got frozen blackberries, blackcurrants, raspberries and red currants some blueberries and then I got frozen mango as well kids like having that on the porridge I got oh, sorry I got this I thought I got two I got this dark chocolate um, I made a vegan cheesecake the other day and it was so delicious and I used this and it came out so nice and then I got the salsa for the nachos um, another tin of chickpeas coconut cream to make something with these two together I think and then I got rice, and then I got vegan vial sleeves, chap sleeves, sorry, sliced cheese. These are really good on um, like veggie burgers or if you're having beef burgers and you've got like a dairy intolerance. And then I got um, some spaghetti. I got butternut squash for curry. Um, I find it cheaper and easier just to bite frozen um, than preparing it myself. And then I got two bags of sweet corn. Again, I don't know if I've mentioned that. I apologise if I have. And then I got this spinach, which I like to have with um, tofu or if I'm making a curry. And then and I got this plant um, sunflower spread. It's vegan. That's only one pound, so like one dollar twenty. Then I got this bread which was only 65p, it's whole meal, again less than a dollar. I really like this sabi, I can't get my words out, see a bettini, I've talked about this before, it's really really nice. Um, and um, it's like sourdough, it's not got any, any oil in it, so I usually put that in the freezer and then take a couple of slices out. Got these brioche burger buns for the family to have. I'm going to make some vegan ones for myself. I'm going to try out a vegan brioche recipe with the avocado. Um, but I will link above my vegan brioche buns if you want to check that out, that recipe out. Then these wraps were supposed to be one pound and they reduced to 35p. So that's like 70 cents or something like that. And I got three packs and you get eight in a pack we have wraps usually every every day for lunch so i'll put them in the freezer and i got this organic little jam lettuce the kids like to put um sweet corn in and um hummus and make like little lettuce bolts um and then over here I've got the meat so like I said I don't eat meat but this is for the family um, I got this beef mince and four Aberdeen Angus burgers and then I got these southern fried chicken um, drumsticks I thought these was on offer usually maybe oh they might not I might not have got the right one and maybe that's why my shopping was a bit more expensive you can get three for ten mix and match usually so the, Ryan's had this before um, and he really likes it so yeah so I've got these four so they'll more than likely have four meat based meals dinners and then th um, three plant based ones and then I got these traditional porridge oats because like I said that's what the kids like to have for breakfast and then I got this Naked Glory it's like a vegan chicken and we really really like them in wraps and I got this Vimto from the um, from the co-op as well because I couldn't get hold of that in, um, in I can't even get my words out I'm sorry I couldn't get hold of that in Marks and Spencers another someone was asking me I made slushies out of this and they was asking me what Vimto was and it's very popular in England it's um like mixed fruits um, like a cordial so you just dilute it and it's really really nice 
I forgot to mention I got three oat milks as well. Um, so these are my plant based items that I got from this shop. This shop, um, I've asked them can I go in and film, it's called Top Banana and they do all vegetarian and vegan items and I was blown away by the selection that they've got and they deliver as well. So I picked up a few items that I've never had before to try. So this is sweetened condensed coconut milk. Um, so I thought that would be really good in a recipe. And then, oh, this is from Marks and Spencers as well. I had this the other day and I was telling Jay from my type of organised. She's been vegan for nearly a year now. She makes really, really delicious plant-based meals. She shows holes and all that as well. And um, it's a soya bolognese. And to me, this was really like, you know, like when you go to an Italian and you have um, like a spaghetti bolognese and there's that really rich sauce, um, you know, in the lasagna or in the... Uh, like spaghetti bolognese this is what it was like really really tasty it was that was only one pound fifty i think this was 2.99 so this was quite expensive so nearly four dollars then i got this coconut salty caramel sauce i am so excited to try this i might do like a review on it if you want me to do a review then leave me a comment down below so it's got coconut milk coconut cream filtered water cane sugar coconut sugar and sea salt and calcium carbonate i think i could possibly make this myself with um with coconut cream and i've got um coconut sugar so i might try it if we if we like this never seen this before but i've been trying to find a vegan alternative to like a beef gravy i love gravy um this was only 99 piece like one dollar 20 again so i'm gonna give that a go then i bought a replacement the other the other week to try and make some Yorkshire puddings and they did not come out right. So this the owner said that this might work because you can make scrambled eggs with it. It's the equivalent of 15 eggs per pack and this thing this was about three pounds like four dollars something like that. So I think it's like got a chickpea base so I'm hoping that I can make um, a vegan Yorkshire puddings out of this because I do really love them and these I'm so excited about I'm going to make these tonight so I'll probably put in a picture of this um, these burgers um, I'm going to be trying to put pictures in of all of my my meals and meal plans um, from now on so if it's something that you like then please let me know and I'll keep doing it so handmade jack fruit burger deliciously blended with mild Indian spices so I think these was about two or three pounds um, I mean look the ingredients are very minimal um, young jackfruit chickpea flour onions ginger coriander powder chili powder coriander leaves and salt and oil so yeah so this is my um, shop for the week a lot of it will probably last us longer than that but I'm really happy with what I've got I didn't I don't know if I said as well I bought this from the co-op shop too packs of tofu tofu i'll use a quarter of that usually in the morning for scrambled tofu on toast so i was saying to you before about the meal idea so for the family we've got the burgers and then i'll be having the veggie burgers here and then we'll be having um sweet potato curry one day i've got lentils left we have lentil doll usually once a week Len so lentil doll then they'll be having chicken with um with rice and then the next day they will be having um, spaghetti bolognese and then we've got the southern fried chicken and that will be with like maybe baked potatoes and we always accompany things with like sweet corn, broccoli, I've got broccoli and things like that in the fridge we usually always have loads of veg so I don't know whether that's seven meals or not because Caleb is in the background making loads of noise and it's putting me off what I'm saying I forgot as well I got this gluten free and vegan sourdough cob so I, it was in the freezer there so I'm going to put that in the freezer as well and it's made out of rice flour so I'm really interested to see what that tastes like. Gosh I keep forgetting things, I, I, I got this as well, I bought this before, it's so delicious, it's coconut based and it's chocolate ice cream and it's so nice and that's from Marks and Spencers. I'm really sorry that I've been all over the place but there's, I keep forgetting different stuff and with the kids keep running in and out it's making me forget my train of thought so i'm gonna leave jay's channel down below if you want to go out and check out her playlist on cooking on on vegan meals she's just such a fab lady as well so yeah i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye